What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the official oreo update for our redmi note 5 pro so as you can see here i have it this is my first video on the note 5 pro so i hope it goes well and i hope also that you guys like it but uh, unlike the other things that you saw on the internet this is not a beta rom this is a global stable rom this is what you are going to get on your cats your mom's or your dad's phone if you have a note 5 pro so this update might be hitting your phones uh, maybe next two weeks. I hope Xiaomi makes it quick so that they can bring this update to the Redmi 5 then the Note 5. So starting with the Pro, here you go, here is how it looks. It's still MIUI 9.5 so not a huge change as Note 5 Pro has not been getting a lot of updates when compared to the Redmi 5 and the Note 5. That's pretty disappointing considering the hype that has Xiaomi created for this phone. But the UI still looks the same, the normal usage is still the same, but the navigation has completely changed. So now it also has iPhone X like gestures. Well, you also get this on Nougat, yes, Xiaomi is actually porting the Oreo features on the Marshmallow and Nougat devices. For example, Note 3 got split screen, same as Nougat. And then this Oreo gesture thingy is now on Nougat for the Note 5 too. So let's just take a look at that. Go into the settings, scrolling down, you have full screen display. Here you will have the option so you can actually turn your normal buttons just like before. Or you can go to full screen it will show you especially if you are on the home screen and if you want to go to this thing yes as you can see there is a little bit of stutter you can't actually make it through the camera but it's still there but the navigation is pretty okay for me I'm actually using this as my normal thing I'm just bored with nav bars but the notification panel gets a bit of a change as you can see now it's more like a card UI and then again as of Android Oreo you can actually directly just reply your messages which is also now available on the Nougat from over here which is a very nice touch but it's still a bit laggy I know it's weird but Xiaomi would fix it in the later iterations on the left you still get your normal cards nothing new in that and then going to the security app again nothing has changed as it says 9.5 but 9.5 is just the next version of the 9.2 9.3 didn't hit a lot of phones and 9.4 doesn't exist cause 4 is an unlucky number for China so 9.5 is not a huge upgrade since the 9.2.7.0 which is the last one for the Nougat but pretty much everything is the same but the RAM management has been like improved a lot as you can see on the bottom it's kind of hard to look at but I almost get 2 gigs of RAM free every time I just clear the RAM which is surely improved from Nougat and then the battery life battery life kind of went crap after 9.2.6 and then again flashing this new 9.5.6 battery life is just amazing as before I am getting almost around 13 to 14 hours of screen on time without sim card but let's just go to the settings so unlike betas on the stable you get security status over here so yeah xiaomi is finally polishing this os as they like going to the about phone note 5 pro and are watching 8.1.0 the latest and the greatest maya global version 9.5.6.0 and the security patch is actually march which is kind of disappointing then if you go to the security status you can quickly toggle find my device on and off which is a very nice feature security update and google play protect thanks to android oreo Going to the additional settings, when you have the iPhone X like navigations, you can't actually use the one handed mode which is kind of disappointing Xiaomi you should actually have something like a different gesture for it because I really liked it to use on this massive 6 inch display. Now going to the developer options, you still get your normal Android Oreo options such as uh, smallest width and every other stuff but you can't actually adjust the DP of it because again it's MIUI Xiaomi has actually locked it. There are no advanced app settings as of the Android Oreo which is kind of disappointing. As you can see show all apps recent apps there is no special system settings the camera app has been not touched at all but i have sort of found this weird glitch which was also available in the china stable but i know the camera is different one on that but even on global stable if you just turn on the exposure completely in dark light it would just go crazy it just keeps on adjusting and you can't actually get your final picture correctly otherwise all the features just work same portrait mode has even gone worse than the 9.2.6 it just gets crappier and crappier each and every single update as you can see even though right now it can't focus even if i touch it it has a really hard time focusing and now even if you are trying to focus on like smaller objects completely impossible xiaomi should really go back to the normal algorithms that they were using for the note 5 pro but as this gets shittier, the front portrait mode even gets better. But the vibrant exposing of it still exists, which is not on the China stable ROM, which I really liked. But again, the HDR is broken on that one. And then the normal thing such as performance is pretty much the same as the Nougat. I mean, the synthetic benchmarks are still the same. There is nothing like improved over here at all. And then in other words, treble support. It finally makes its way onto an official Xiaomi phone. Earlier, we have seen this on the Mi 6, 
Redmi Note 4 and the Redmi Note 5 unofficially and they work miles ahead and better than this thing like literally I have still not got a successfully booted treble image over here on my Note 5 Pro cause literally the process is just hectic even like unlocking this phone was a headache but then again we still have it which is a huge thing for Xiaomi and your other Android 8.1 features such as wallpaper API adaptive system UI which automatically goes dark and light according to your wallpaper none of that exists on the MIUI 9 so I really hope that MIUI 10 fixes that but you still get your under the hood features such as picture in picture you will need a YouTube red subscription for it but normally if you can just go to Chrome go to desktop site load up a video play the video in full screen get the actual video playing and just go to home and the video will just pop up on your bottom right hand I don't know <laughs> but yeah you can actually watch your videos like this which is a pretty cool feature in Android 8.1 I really hope in Android P it makes it a huge wider way into more apps and in terms of security you still get your normal face data and stuff which is much more faster than Nougat it's a welcome improvement and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a quick little review of the Android 8.1 Oreo official update for the Redmi Note 5 Pro I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one peace subscribe down there for more Note 5 Pro videos